The Mogami class frigate is one of the most significant symbols of the change in tactical thought in the Japan Maritime Self Defense Force, shortly JMSDF. Besides, analyzing this new surface combatant would give us clues about the new order in the region. As the weapon detective, we are investigating the Mogami class, the frigate that tells the new order in the Western Pacific. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start. To be notified of our new videos, please click the bell button. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all the likes, comments and shares. The Mogami class, also known as 30 FFM class, has no brand new dazzling capabilities compared to the frigates of other modern navies. It is a high-tech surface combatant, but so are its counterparts. The Mogami class stands out not because of its unique superior technical features, but because it represents the transformation in the JMSDF and the region. For a long time, the Japanese had not preferred using the term frigate. But it does not mean that the JMSDF had never operated this warship type. The last Japanese surface combatant classified as a frigate was a former US Tacoma class JDS Kaya, which was decommissioned in 1972. But the JMSDF continued using the old classification, which had also been embraced by the US Navy during that time. Japan had escort destroyers, which were reclassified as frigates in modern navies after 1975. The last example of these escort destroyers, the Abukuma class, were commissioned in 1972 and they are still in service of the JMSDF. Even when they began the study phase of the Mogami class frigates in 2005, Japan still described the new ship as a destroyer. Initially, the staff of the JMSDF worked on a US literal combat ship-like surface combatant which would use the existing equipment at that time. During that period, Japan considered many alternatives including trimaran hull design. However, they quickly realized that the new ship would be too expensive. Even though Japan evaluated sacrificing some capabilities, it was impossible to reduce the cost as desired. So the study was prolonged. In 2013, the JMSDF decided to increase the number of surface combatants from 47 to 54. The new warship would not belong to the existing escort groups of the fleet. They would also have information gathering and monitoring capabilities. At first glance, five to six ships would be enough to answer this requirement. But until they are ready, some older surface combatants will be retired. Thus, the program was expanded to build more ships with compact hulls and improved abilities to respond to various missions. At this point, the project was called Multi-Mission Escort Ship. The JMSDF decided to change the classification from destroyer to frigate and redefine the new ship as FFM. The letter M defines the multi-mission feature and the mine warfare capability. To keep costs low and accelerate the program, the JMSDF decided to install only the minimum equipment during the first phase of the construction. Some subsystems, such as the vertical launching system, would be fitted later. Before this program, Japan had assigned shipbuilders to construct the ships. Now, Tokyo decided to implement the new model. All available companies would compete with each other. After evaluation, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries became the main contractor and Mitsui Engineers and Shipbuilding the subcontractor. Later, the first company absorbed the second. So, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries became the sole contractor. In 2018, the JMSDF ordered the first two frigates. The first ship of the class, JS Mogami, was laid down on October 29, 2019 and the second, JS Kamano, one day later. But due to technical problems experienced by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, Mitsui Engineering and Shipbuilding launched the JS Kumano on November 19, 2020, four months before the JS Mogami. She was also commissioned on March 22, 2022, over a month before her sister. These two frigates are currently assigned to the Mine Warfare Force of the JMSCF in Yokosuka Base. Like other modern frigates, the Mogami class has a stealthy design. The integrated mast of the ship, aka the Unicorn Mast, also reduces the radar cross-section. Each sensor and electronic system attached to the mast is arranged in a columnar module to avoid radio wave interference. The design that allows easy access makes the repair, maintenance and upgrade works for the mast electronics simple. The computers have open architecture software that makes the update works easy. The Mogami class frigates have Link 22 capability. Initially, Japan planned to equip these ships with water jet propulsion system that would provide a top speed of 40 knots. 
But later, the JMSCF added overseas operations, such as anti-piracy, to the mission definition of the Mogami class. Also, one of the job definitions of the new surface combatants, the monitoring missions, did not require high speed. The high speed would increase fuel consumption and reduce endurance. The JMSCF has settled with 30 knots top speed. So, the Mogami class is fitted with a combined diesel and gas propulsion system with two conventional variable pitch propellers. The Mogami class can lay the sea mines and also hunt them, at least on paper. As mentioned earlier, Japan has fitted these ships only the minimum equipment to keep the cost low and accelerate the program. Soon, the Mogami class frigates will be fitted with the OQQ-11 anti-mine warfare sonar. Besides, they will carry unmanned underwater vehicles for mine hunting. The Mogami class frigate has a 90-person crew. Its standard displacement is 3,900 tons, while its fully loaded displacement is 5,500 tons. The ship has a length of 133 meters and a beam of 16.3 meters. The combined diesel and gas propulsion system consists of two MAN V2833DD SDC diesel engines and one Rolls-Royce MT30 gas turbine, which provides 70,000 horsepower together. Its top speed is 30 knots. The ship currently has one 127mm Mark 45 Mod 4 gun, one CRM close-in weapon system, and two 324mm 3 tube torpedo launchers. As you see, the Mogami class frigates are not fully armed yet. Let's closer look at the current armament of the ship first, and then its future weapons. The 127mm 62 caliber Mark 45 Mod 4 naval gun has a stealthy turret design. Its rate of fire is 40 rounds per minute. The gun's maximum range is 37,000 meters. The CRAM close-in weapon system combines the radar and electro-optical system of the Mark 15 Phalanx Block 1B with an 11-cell RAM short-range air defense missile launcher. Unlike the RAM, this system can act autonomously from the ship's radar. Thanks to its passive radar homing capability and an infrared guidance system, the CRAM can intercept stealth anti-ship missiles. The effective range of air defense missile with Mach 2 speed is over 9 km. The JMSTF will soon equip the Mogami class frigates with 8 Type 17 anti-ship missiles with 400 km range, also known as SSM-2. It is the ship-based version of the land-based Type 12. Unlike the previous Japan-made anti-ship missiles with inertial guidance for the intermediate course, the Type 17 has GPS guidance. It improves the accuracy. Some sources also claim that the Mogami-class frigates may be fitted with the ship-based variant of the ASM-3 anti-ship missiles with speeds over Mach 3, but we could not reach any official confirmation. Currently, the Mogami-class has no vertical launching system. The 16-cell Mark 41 launcher will be fitted later. Thus, the frigate will gain the capability to fire the naval version of the Type 03 JUSAM air defense missiles. Its specification is not officially published yet but the new missile will most likely have a similar performance to its land-based variant. The Type 03 with a 73kg warhead has a range of 50km and a speed of Mach 2.5. Its maximum effective altitude is 10,000 meters. Besides, thanks to the Mark 41, the Mogami-class frigates will gain the capability of launching the Type 07. This anti-submarine warfare missile with an 8km range carries a Type 97 or Type 12 torpedo. Japan will also equip the Mogami-class frigates with two domestically developed remote control weapon stations with a 12.7mm machine gun. The ship has aviation facilities suitable for the operations of an SH-60K helicopter. Some sources claim that the JMSCF will acquire 22 Mogami-class frigates to replace the Abukuma, Hatsuyuki and Asagiri-class destroyers. The Hatsuyuki-class vessels are already decommissioned or converted to training ships. But Japan currently ordered only 10 Mogami-class frigates. Developing a new surface combatant to replace the obsolete destroyers is not economically feasible. Probably, Japan will order another 12 Mogami-class ships. Initially, it was mentioned that these frigates would also replace the Hayabusa-class missile boats. Yes, the Mogami-class will conduct monitoring missions in the future currently carried out by the Hayabusas. But a new patrol vessel, not the frigates, will take over this duty from the missile boats of the JMSTF. As you can see, the Mogami-class frigates have a very similar design to their counterparts in the other modern navies, except for their high mine warfare capabilities. During the First Cold War, the mine laying capability was essential for Japan, which was under the threat of a massive naval invasion from the USSR. 
The Japanese fleet was large but not big enough to control all coastal areas and sea lines. The anti-access area denial was the most suitable concept to compensate for this disadvantage. But the mighty Soviet Pacific fleet vanished and the JMSCF became the number one naval power in the region. So, Japan did not need the anti-access area denial concept anymore and decommissioned the mine laying capable JDS Soya and JDS Hayase in 1999 and 2002. However, with the rise of the Chinese Navy, the JMSDF decided to regain its mine laying capability. This move shows us that Tokyo now acknowledges that the large fleet of the JMSDF is no longer the only dominant naval power of the region. It has to return to the former concept to balance the Chinese Navy. So, the Mogami class ships represents the return of the sea mines in the JMSDF. They are not just mine layers but also mine hunters. This feature makes them unique among the other frigates of the modern navies. We can hear the objection from some of our audience who may say that the US modular literal combat ships also have this capability. But initially, the US Navy did not define them as frigates. They are a different type of surface combatant. Their hull number starts with LCS, not F. Even though the US Navy has re-equipped them with anti-ship missiles, it ordered the Constellation class vessels for the frigate role. From this perspective, we can say that the Mogami class is still a unique frigate with its mine warfare capability. Why did Japan not continue with destroyers? Why did it begin to commission the frigates after all this time? The current destroyers have higher firepower than the previous cruisers. Their displacements are near or even higher than 10,000 tons. Obviously, Replacing the 2,550-ton Abukuma, 4,000-ton Hatsuyuki and 5,200-ton Asagiri with, for example, the 10,250-ton Maya-class destroyer would be absurd. Defining a modern surface combatant with a 5,500-ton displacement as a destroyer is unrealistic today. Also, the firepower of this frigate is not enough to be a modern destroyer. Besides, the Mogami-class frigates will carry out some missions not performed by the current Japanese destroyers. So, it had to be classified differently and Japan has gone this way. The Mogami class ships are the new phase of the changing JMSDF. These frigates are not fully combat ready yet. But when they gain their full strength, the Mogami class surface combatants will become a critical piece on the Western Pacific chessboard. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all the likes, comments and shares.